Hello everybody, today we will discuss the main topic that many people have been waiting for and this topic is how we can use Ruby token on Ruby platform. First of all, tokens are the fuel for signing the contracts and do you remember our contracts named chain codes? Also, depending on the number of tokens held, users will receive certain statuses on the platform and for that we will have a special video on our YouTube channel. So, to access the advanced functionality of Ruby platform, Ruby releases the ERC20 token based on the Ethereum blockchain being the most convenient option with well-developed infrastructure. Over time, appropriately blockchain Ruby chain will be developed for the Ruby platform itself, which will be based on the Hyperledger fabric and the public Ethereum blockchain. And it's important to note that Ruby tokens will be used exclusively for operating and obtaining functionality available to Ruby token holders within the platform. The platform user will be identified as the owner of the Ruby token by adding the external addresses and confirming the external addresses of the Ruby token or storing the Ruby token on their user's Ruby wallet or transferring the Ruby token to various smart contracts. In future, users will be able to store Ruby tokens in their Ruby wallet. The functionality of the Ruby token may include, but it's not limited to the following. For example, receiving allocation in investment products with limited capitalization, accessing additional investment regimes, reducing transactions fee, gaining the possibility to rebalance the portfolio autonomously, obtaining access to an advanced range of investment products within Ruby market market and so on. But over time we will be updating this list, as well as improving and updating the platform. And please note that the nature of Ruby token suggests further token burning within the platform, so with reduction of Ruby tokens emitted by almost a half. And once again, within the platform, Ruby tokens can be assigned to users, for example, by encouraging users for socially useful actions, for example, passing some tests, winning user competitions and so on. Also, by bonus program or bug bounty, for example, receiving tokens for the first investment, performing goal-oriented actions on the platform. And of course, referral system with multiple levels based on token use. Also, there will be a social network for Ruby users. Since Ruby blockchain can store information about the investment behavior of users via Ruby ID, we want to give users the opportunity to share their investment ideas and portfolios. And on the basis of this social network, users will have the opportunity to win some Ruby tokens through competitions, tests and etc. And we call this Ruby community and we will tell you more in our future videos. And in conclusion, we would like to say that it's only a small part of Ruby token functionality. We will share you more details in our future videos, in our future Medium and Telegram posts. So please share this video, like this video, comment below if you have any question and of course subscribe to our channel. Have a great day, goodbye.